my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to go from bare naked nails to brand spanky new full set. I basically took off my entire set yesterday. If you want to know how to take off nails, the quickest and safest and most gentlest way to take them off is to take an arbor band, file the acrylic down, uber uber thin, and you can use a hand file like this. This is a 180, 120 grit if you don't have an e-file. If you do have an e-file, I would recommend taking a chunky bit. Can you guys see how toothy that bad boy is? These drill bits will really help you get the nail off. Once you have the acrylic uber de uber goober thin, then you're going to take a bottle of acetone. I picked up this one right here. This is a 16 ounce bottle. I picked up a TJ Maxx for like $2.99, honey. Get yourself a shallow dish. I have a ceramic dish that I bought purposely for soaking my nails off. So let your nails sit in there for about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, depending on how thick the acrylic is that's left on your nails. It'll sort of like bloom. It'll look like wet sand was a good way of describing it. And you'll just literally scrape that off. I'll take a cuticle pusher or an orange stick and just scrape off that residue. If there's anything left on, then the same thing, just take your e-file and just sort of buff the surface of the nail to get all that off. Once you have all the old products off, you're good to go for their new application. Now to introduce the key players of this game, I'm gonna be using these two beautiful colors here. This is Basic Spink Mood Effect Collection from Glam and Glitz. It's a beautiful bright pink color. And the next one is from the Naked Color Acrylic Collection and this is called Enchantress. And he's this beautiful orangey peachy shade. He's absolutely amazing. We also have a soft cover pink, our cover pink and our clear acrylic. I need to fill that, but he might get through the day. And then here is my swatchy swatch. These two colors are brands making new to my collection. So I'll come home I will do a swatch test to see how each color looks individually. And then when I get kind of like an idea playing in my head, I'll go ahead and like play around with ombres or putting two colors on one nail just to kind of see how those two complement each other before committing to a set. So this is the basic spink at the top and the enchantress at the bottom. Now, basic spink is part of the color changing collection. So see how beautiful and pink this bad boy is. Once it warms up, Baby, it turns to a really soft pink and well, it's almost like white. It'll slowly do a process going through soft pink back to the original pink. So this is gonna be really fun. And then the next thing on the list are these. I picked these up this week when I picked up these new colors. So these are some beautiful butterflies. I'm gonna be using the pink and the orange shades today. Now that we have bare nails, because I have this shiny top coat on top, I'm gonna buff this a little bit to roughen it up. And I did use a gel. I used the Model 1 base coat gel. I'm just gonna buff this and rough it up and get rid of the shine. And then we'll move on to the application process. And to do that, I'm gonna simply just take the softer of the two and I'm gonna just gently rub the nail. Like that. And I always get a little jiggy, you know, get a little, little rough here. Well, not rough, we're still being gentle, but I definitely wanna roughen the nail up, especially in the cuticle area, and I just work my way down. So if you don't have an e-file, do not feel like you can't um, do prep. And you guys can see the difference between the top, close to the cuticle, and then the free edge. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my fingers, and we'll be right back. Alrighty. So as you guys can see, we buffed it up real good. I'm gonna take some alcohol, I have 70% here. I'm gonna take my nail duster, get all that excess dust off. And I'm gonna take a cotton pad and some 70% alcohol, cause this is all you can find out here in these streets right now. And this will just help get rid of the excess shine. As you can see, my nails are no longer shiny piney in comparison to my other hand. Bring in our next contestants. We're gonna be using a dehydrator and a Pro, this is the Young Nails Protein Bond, and this is from Beauty Secrets. It's their dehydrator, and I'm also gonna be using the IBD Five Second Nail Glue. And you always wanna use dehydrator. It kinda like prepares the nail, preps the nail, keeps them clean before you do your application, and it just helps everything going along. Then we're gonna pick up our Young Nails Protein Bond. I'm actually planning on picking up some Young Nail products. I haven't really tried their entire line. I really and honestly picked up the Protein Bond because I had heard so many people saying like, this is legit a good um, bonder. It basically just helps the acrylic adhere 
to your nail. The tips I'm gonna be using are the Instant Perfection Royal Salon Enhanced Enchanted Squares. And this is the long C curve. These are clear. These are 500 tips. I got these on Amazon. Uber Duber Nice. I'll leave a link to these down in the description box. This is by BE, by the way. They are really great in the stiletto because you can just chop the tip off and you have an instant coffin. I'm going to show you how to do the thumb. Fill the well with some glue. And I do want to make a point to mention that like glue works best in a thin layer. It's easier to dry and it'll be quicker. If you put too much, you can risk the nail lifting and not adhering properly. So less is more in the glue department, guys. And voila, he is on. And I always press down on the corners just to make sure they sticky stick stick so I don't have any lifting. And that's it. I'm gonna do the rest of them real quick. Voila. And there are my tips. All on and secure. I always give them a few seconds, like 10 to 15 seconds to completely dry. And then once they're completely dry, well, secure, should I say, I'll go ahead and snip them down. I like to use a little nail clipper like this. He's like a little guillotine for the nail. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do really quickly is figure out how long I want them to be. I typically have my starter set shorter just because I know my nails are gonna grow out. I'm gonna end up having to cut them down anyway. So I'll go ahead and snip them off. Watcha! So the next thing I'm gonna do is grab my outer band again and I'm gonna roughen up the surface of the tips on a low setting just like this. As you can see, I've already buffed up the surface a little bit. You can tell that it doesn't have a shine anymore. Dust off the shavings and whatnot. And boom, baby, this is how you prepare your nails for your nail application. So I'm gonna show you the application on the thumb. So when you're going to pick up a bead, get your brush wet, make sure your brush is conditioned and softened and all that jazz. Slide it up the side of the damping dish and then slowly pick up a bead. And there you go, that's a bead, guys. I'm using a bigger bead because obviously this is my thumb. I'm gonna get out of my way so we can go and move on to the next step. All right, I always start my bead right there. If you have a great liquid to powder ratio, the bead will literally just fall off. And I'm just gonna tap that into place just like this. Now this step, I'm gonna tell you guys, is absolutely not necessary. This is a Keisha thing. I do not like putting colored powders on my natural nail. I always make it a habit to put down a layer of clear or soft pink, something like that, to make sure that um, I don't have any staining. I totally flubbed in that first bead because I was trying to show you guys. I should have just wiped that one off. He was super thick. I'll just file that down a little bit to thin it out, but at least I got to show you <laughs> how to put on a bead. And that's it, like that is super duper easy. I'm gonna do this on all my nails really quickly. And I'm just gonna grab my alcohol bottle. I think that'll make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing if I just turn it like this. There we go. She cooking with fire now. Let's go.
So no huge difference, just a little bit of situation here as you can see. Um, I use the clear on my ring finger and I use the cover pink on the rest. Let's go ahead and get my peach and my pink over here. I'm actually tempted to use some white, but I'm not really sure yet. Let me go ahead and grab the white just in case. And just so you're aware, the white is the Back to Basics um, Glam and Glitz Acrylic Powder Ultra White. So, to get us going here, I think I'm just gonna start with a nudie patootie enchantress on the pinky. It's time to focus, y'all. So let's talk about some things that's been happening lately in the world of bold and color. So your girl's been trying to keep it busy. As you guys can see, I've been working on getting the angles for the nail videos down because I wasn't truly happy with the outcome of the last video. We've had some technical issues in that last video. Like, I kid you not, um, my camera said it was recording and it literally only recorded the um, the voice. It, it only recorded the audio and not the visual, which was a pain in the caboose. When John was trying to edit, he was like, I don't know what I should do next. And um, we just decided, scrap it, just cut the ending and move on from there. So if you are interested in seeing a more thorough dusting, let me know. I'll try to get that done in a couple of weeks as my hair needs it. Obviously it doesn't need it anymore because I just did it. So there's that. For this one, I'm going to actually pick up the pink ones. If I can get it open. Hold on, girl. Let me hold on now. There we go, darling. Aren't those pretty? So I just wet the surface of the nail and with a wet brush, I'm gonna try to get just one. I learned from my mistakes with this one. It's like, you think you're getting one, but you're getting two. And then I'm just gonna pat him into place, just like that. And then I'm going to take a very wet bead and tamp him right on top. And this will help me keep him in place. Now to encapsulate the rest of the nail. And encapsulating is just a fancy way of saying trap that puppy between the bottom layer and a top layer of clear. So, so pretty. For the glass tip nail, I'm actually going to take some pink. I'm gonna press this into the cuticle area and just slowly and very thinly actually application. I just want a little bit of color at my cuticle. I'm gonna gently Press that into place, but I want to keep this uber duper thin, and then I'm going to buff it out. And I always wipe my brush off, okay? Always wiping the excess off so I don't end up dragging the color beyond where I wanted. So there goes my orange ones. I'm really looking at these iridescent ones, like, do I wanna? Do I wanna? All right, so let's put the orange ones up here. I wanna have like this random fluttering vibe. Do you like that placement? I do. I really do wanna put this white one on. Hold on. Ooh, these tops are like on hecka tight. And then I'm just gonna pick him up and place him right there. All righty. Let's check out the placement. I like it. I like it, I'm digging it. And I'm gonna get a wet bead, press that on top. It's best to do it this way. You sort of press it into place. You don't disturb your placement, especially if you're really happy with the placement. Just sort of pat it, pat it, pat it on down, pat it on down. Don't worry about the cuticle area right now. You can go and add a small bead to fill in the need later. All right, so the first color I'm gonna pick up is Enchantress. And I'm gonna place this beautiful orangey shade right here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna pull it up very gently. I think someone called this feathering. Feathering it that way. So this is how it should start looking in the beginning. After a few seconds, I'll go pick up the second shade and I will put it at the cuticle and do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna push it towards my cuticle and then I'm going to remove the excess and I'm gonna just press it, press it, press it right on there. I think the blend is probably like the most important part to me. <laughs> so I spend a lot more time on it than I do the other parts of the nail when I'm doing a ombre. It's just to make sure that 
the blend looks good. Like I want that gradient. I want that beautiful ombre blend. Pick up some butterflies and I want to place them. All right, done. Alrighty, alrighty. So now that we have the index finger coated in pink, some more orange butterflies. Looking down the barrel, he good, he good. And for this nail, I always make my thumb go a little extra, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna put a little pink up here. I'm just gonna sort of let it stain my nail. This is one of the reasons why I like doing my own nails, because I can do these really weird, random designs. So now I'm gonna just get my brush really wet, clean it off, and I'm gonna create a swoop action, like that. I'm gonna take the ultra white, stick him there. I'm gonna just put him just like this. Same thing, not too big of a bead. Bump him right up against there. And then sort of just feed it right on alongside the white shade. Moving the excess, making sure I have the opacity that I want. And now, put a few butterflies on that side. Pick up a few pink ones. I thought about putting flowers in this set to kind of give you like that butterfly in the flower vibe, but I completely forgot about that thought bubble. So these are the nails all structured out and ready to go. I'm gonna clean my brush off. I'm gonna get all these excess things off the surface and then we're gonna buff and shape and file it. And I'll be right back to show you guys the finishing touches. Alrighty, my lovelies. My hand is all cleaned and cleansed. Ooh, baby. So I'm gonna be using a top coat. This is from Beatles. Let's start with that thumb action and watch those butterflies come to life. And we're going to stick this in the nail lamp for 90 to 120 seconds, depending on your lamp. So here are my nails, straight out the lamp. I'm going to pick up a cotton pad with some alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the sticky layer off. Some brands do include like a, a sticky layer remover product, but if you don't have it, alcohol works perfectly fine. And there they are, darling. Oh, well, they're beautiful. I'm gonna pick up my custom cuticle oil. I'm just gonna put a little doop, 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 doop. Oh my goodness. Now, obviously, these are a little bit different than what I was expecting because I was using a acrylic that was so much darker in the pot than what it is in reality. But just for a little added bonus, I'm going to get a cup or a bowl of cold water with a little bit of icy QB action in there and see what these look like when they turn the darker color. Be right back. All right, fresh from the kitchen, we have some ice QB water. I'm going to just dunk my hands in there. I can see them changing already. Alrighty, and there they go. Oh, this came out beautiful. Love it. Well, that's it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more videos of me showing you guys how I do my nails, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see more videos from me, of course, hit that notification bell to be notified of the next time that I upload content. And if you know someone who would enjoy this content and find it entertaining, don't forget to hit that share button because why? Sharing is caring. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay focused, stay true to yourself, stay bold in color, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Peace.